Pop Dust, and I'm here with Insema at the King Children launch event. Uh, King Children is a very cool brand that allows you to design and customize your own glasses, and they're 3D printed. I believe Insema is wearing yeah, them wearing some, now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and like Azima is going to perform later here today. Um, she is a incredible violinist who uh, kind of breaks boundaries in genre by uh, playing violin over beats and hip hop music and uh, yeah. So Azima, how did you uh, get started with uh, hip hop and violin? How did, how did that <laughs> crossover happen? Well, I started violin when I was very, very young. Um, so mm-hmm. that kind of happened first. I started when I was three, four, depending on how you look at it. And then I got into hip hop you know, later in life. Growing up, my parents didn't really let me listen to a lot of hip hop. For, you know, like obvious reasons, I guess. But then, um, yeah, it was after actually, you know, I, I moved to New York and I came to school here. Um, mm-hmm. I went to the new school. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just got really into it, experimenting and making these videos that people really responded well to and people really enjoyed. And it just kind of helped me to, I guess, bring my decades of training as a classical violinist to everyone and kind of be huh. become the people's violinist in a way. And um, it's allowed me to work with so many artists. And not only that, it's just so fun. Like I, I, I genuinely love the music that I make and um, the music that I get to share. And it's, it's really, really, really been a fun journey so far. Do you ever take a break from hip hop and like go back to classical? Yeah, hardcore? yeah. I was actually practicing Brahms concerto this morning, and uh-huh. like I always make sure to keep because classical is the foundation, right? Mm-hmm. It's like kind of like the um, you know getting your vegetables or whatever vitamins you need so that you can do you know your sports or whatever it is that you want to do. Yeah. So for me, it's very much a fundamental part of what I of what I am. And, and actually, I'm working on a project right now that's um, classically inspired, mm-hmm. and so it's really cool to keep fusing and keep studying deeper into classical music and also hip hop. So it's like it's very interesting. Cool. Yeah. Cool. As far as collaborations, do you have a dream Can collaboration? Um, man. I mean, I've worked with a lot of people. I've worked with Beyonce and Kendrick and SZA and Swiss Beats and. Um, Khalid, I just did some stuff with Khalid in LA like two weeks ago. So I think for me, like I've already, like the pop stuff, I'm already kind of in that world, but uh-huh. I would love to work with Hans Zimmer. I don't, he's a film scorer. He's composed like The Gladiator, um, Blade Runner, like every epic film you can think of. I would yeah. love to do something with him or Pharrell. That would be crazy. Cool. Yeah. Or how both. Do you, do you know how that process works if you're composing a score for a film? Do you watch like the. You sit down and you watch and you compose it? Yeah, so basically um, they send you a script. So uh-huh. I actually write for a film as well. So I have, I just got sent two scripts. You, you read the script, you, uh-huh. you, know, you talk to the director and everything, or the film writer, the screenwriter. Then if they, you know, when they get the, the, um, the visual, you know, there's no music in it. And you watch it and you go through the, what the director wants and the mood and everything and then you just get to work. Some people are much more like just do what you do like and let yeah. will go from there but other people have a clearer idea of what they want. Uh-huh. Um, so it's just a very like, you're very involved in the movie from the very beginning. Like from the time the script's written you're involved. So it's really fun. I love it. And you get to write to the visual and it's yeah. really, really cool. What's the weirdest like request you've gotten like the weird like like there's some footage and then like they want you to play something like really happy over something that looks uh, really sad or... um I, I worked with this independent film for a friend of mine uh-huh. Jordan Briggs, and it's called Wolves and it's kind of like about the end of like anarchy and people are like killing each other and all that stuff and he's like I really want you to turn um um what is it um dun da 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 this little light of mine. Yeah. That's what it's called. <laughs> He's like, I really want you to turn that into like something creepy and weird. And I was like, okay. So I like slowed it down, like made it, you know, changed the notes so it was instead of being happy, a little bit more sad, and you know, added some like spooky sounds in the back. But I was like, this is bizarre. I would have never thought of that on my own. But he wanted it to be like a reoccurring theme throughout the whole thing. It's like light, and dark, and yeah, you know, you know, that whole thing. So stuff like that, I get. That's like, cool. Okay, I'll work with that. Yeah, I imagine it's like very. It can be very like oxymoronic. You're like, you won't. What? I know. <laughs> you know. At the end of the day, you just yeah. Okay, sure. I'll do it. It's a good yeah. challenge. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Um, and so, how long have you been playing violin? 
like 20 years. I started when I was three, almost four. Um, a long, a very long time. Did your parents play or were they? No, no, no. I just, I really wanted to play and, um, you know, my parents were not musicians, but they were encouraging enough to just get me a really cheap, you know, violin rental. They didn't think, they probably thought I was going to quit or whatever. Uh-huh. Um, and I just really took to it and I practiced and I enjoyed it and... I think they were very, very surprised, mm-hmm. and they never in a million years thought I would be a violinist, especially a violinist using oh, yeah. hip hop. Like never in a million years. Like, yeah. So. You perform live, like with hip hop artists. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Cool. And where are you from? New York. Mm-hmm. From Nebraska. Nebraska. Yeah. That's Nebraska the Midwest. is a flyover state. Like you don't. Yes, Midwest. You don't yeah. ever go there unless have to be there. That's like... Yeah. The, I, I know. I can see the shape of it. Yeah. So it's like, here's, you know, let's say New York, we're here, um, California, Colorado, Iowa, Nebraska is like right next to Colorado. Oh, nice. Yeah. So big change from Nebraska very to New York. Change. Yeah. Very, yeah. very big change. But ultimately, I love it here so much. Yeah. How did you, how long have you been here? Um, like six years? I came here for my master's, so... At the new school. Yeah. Great. Um, and how do you like your glasses? I love my glasses. I've been a four eye since I was like seven. I've always had glasses. I wear contacts. Yeah. Um, I have a, very much a love hate with glasses. I like glasses, but I don't. I think when you're a kid and you're wearing glasses, you get made fun of and you're just like, I don't want to wear glasses. Like, I'm, I don't want this. Yeah. Um, but you know, honestly, it's like companies like this that are, you know, allow you to, they're affordable and they allow you to really switch up your look a lot. Like, that matters to me because I like to experiment and change yeah. my hair or whatever I'm wearing or whatever. So for me, I like that. It's also, they're really comfortable because they fit your face so perfectly. Yeah. Um, and also, I like that they're like for sports. So look, you can like bend them. Yeah, I saw and that. It's, like, I was like, not gonna break. I mean, I can put them in my purse. And, and it won't break. I've broken, I've scratched so many lenses. Like I've have, I literally have like twenty two glasses in home. Wow. Yeah, I have some pretty cool glasses. Too. Yeah, those they're look great. They're, they're like bright enough. I your love face them. And the color is perfect yeah. on you. <laughs> yeah. Well, how can everyone at home find you? Um, yeah, you can find me on socials. Um, that's kind of like the yeah. modern day business card. Um, you can find me on Instagram, for instance, at I A M. And then my name is Azima, E Z I N M A. If you just Google that, it'll come up. E Z I N M A. I've also been given an internet name, Classical Bay. So I love that. I did not come Classical up with this, but Bay, B A E, so Classical Bay. So you can find me that way. <laughs> Great. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you so yeah, much. Yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you perform thank later. Thank you. Yeah.